Hello everyone, Tanya Siddiqui here and as you know I am an educator with over 25 years experience managing schools and childcare programs and I'm also a Canadian certified childcare licensing officer and an alternative healthcare practitioner. In this episode we are going to look at how to find a quality childcare. And when my my children were toddlers and when I was searching for childcare for them, I didn't know how to find a quality childcare, what questions to ask, what things to look for. I was always impressed with aesthetically pleasing environments and operators who appeared welcoming and friendly. But is that the only thing to look for when you're searching for a quality childcare for your children? Children spend a lot of their time in childcare facilities and it is important for us to understand if the childcare facility we have chosen or we are looking at is appropriate and the right fit for our children because children need a lot of affection, responsive care, they need to be supervised for their health and safety in order to grow into competent beings. They need environments that promote their overall growth and development. From children's perspective, a high quality childcare environment may mean feeling loved, appreciated and accepted for their unique qualities irrespective of any diversity or differences, being surrounded by loving, caring and responsive adults and being emotionally and physically comfortable and provided with fun, loving, and engaging activities. Whereas, from the parents' perspective, a quality childcare is where their children remain healthy, safe, and happy, which is affordable and conveniently located, as most parents work out of home and they need to find a place where their children can uh, receive proper care to grow and develop in the best possible ways. Some of the features to look for in a quality childcare environment are number one, well-planned, organized, aesthetically pleasing environment that is safe, healthy, and clean. If food is provided, it is healthy and nutritious. Sufficient number of staff as stated in child care licensing regulation and they are responsive, caring and loving towards children. This reminds me of one incident where, where I put my daughter in one of the child care centers and really nice and everything was good but they did not allow their teachers to pick up the children to console them when they were in distress or crying and this is something to look for and this is really important that children are consoled and comforted when they are upset. Policies and procedures are in place and there is provision to follow them, especially child uh, guiding strategies are in line with child care licensing regulations and for example time out should never be allowed. Restraining children is not allowed, putting children in high chairs during circle time or any other time is not allowed unless it is stated in the care plan and and the person who is administering restraint is trained in applying those restraints. Also food as a reward or punishment is not allowed. Also shoving children, hitting children, criticizing them, belittling them, all these things, pushing, pulling, these are not allowed and uh, you must be careful that the child care is consistent in their child guiding strategies. There is provision for and uh, the licensee or the operator is providing activities for children in order to promote their all around development according to the child care licensing regulations. Adults are modeling behavior that they want children to acquire that is collaborating with the, all the staff and parents at the center, showing respect for all the children, staff and parents at the center, using polite and kind words, 
and keeping calm during stressful uh, situations. And the school or child care center encourages parents and families' involvement in their children's learning and development, and they respect diversity and differences. They have equality of gender and inclusion for children with disabilities. There are some questions that we, you may ask when you go to a child care center or child care facility to understand their uh, policies and procedures and here are the questions. And these are the basic questions to ask and you can always build on the list to ask more questions. And these are, is the child care licensed or unlicensed? How many total children in care? What are child guidance policies? What is the protocol when the child falls sick at the center? Does the center provide food? What types of food is provided and how many times? What foods are not allowed in the facility? And what are the qualifications and training of staff? Do they have first aid? and other uh, qualifications that can help if there is any emergency. What happens when staff or operator is sick or away? And here is the list for free resources for families in British Columbia, Canada. And I have placed the link for these free resources under this video in the description section. And I would be updating the list as I find more free resources for families in other countries. And if you know of some, please leave them in the comment section or you can always email uh, them to me. And many of you have asked for my email and I have also placed it under the video. So the first one is the link to types of child care centers. And then there is link to child care centers according to the areas and the inspection report uh, to understand what kind of contraventions were recorded by the licensing body so that you can make informed choices and options. Child care have free resources for parents and especially for parents of children with special needs. And uh, Strong Start BC is a free program for infant and toddler and it's provided by the government. And also uh, there is a link so that you can report child abuse or neglect if you observe something like that. In this video, we looked at why it is important for us to choose a quality childcare for our children, what features make the childcare a quality childcare, what questions to ask, when we go and meet the operators and licensees of these child care centers, as well as I listed some free resources for parents to uh, take advantage of. And in my next video, I would be introducing you to a director of school who teaches literacy through music and movement to children of different ages. She also has some special classes for children with special needs and all her classes are online and she's offering two free classes and discounted classes to the subscribers of this channel. So please do not forget to like and subscribe so you can avail those opportunities and I would be bringing more free stuff in the future. So stay tuned till we meet next time. Thank you.